Alright guys, let's make Mario. Here are the materials I use for this. Ball, dotting, and a pointy two. Yellow, beige, blue, red, black and white, and these three different brown colors of clay. A rolling pin, head pins, or you can use wires. These are the cone shapers are optional. Flat blade and exacto knife. All of these materials and where to buy them are listed in the description box, so make sure to check that out. We will start with the head. Make a ball with the beige clay and indent at the middle part for the eyes. You can use your thumbs to do that. Also have an image of Mario when you do this. I found it helpful to refer back and forth as I make him. Indent the eyes and the nose areas with a dotting and a ball too. out the mustache and place it onto the face. Use an exacto knife to slice a mouth line and place a thin coil around the mouth as the lip.
As for the hat, I found an easier way to make it using this big ball too. The size of the ball too is about the same size as the head of the Mario that I have made, which makes it a lot easier for me to make the hat. I'm using a straw to cut the small white circle that goes in front of the hat with the letter M. We are making the body now. The size of the body is about the same size as the head, so you can make a comparison for the proportion if you need to. Make the shape of the body into a bit of a raindrop shape. Then roll out a flat sheet of blue clay and cut a rectangular shape out of it. Wrap the body with the blue clay, like so. As for the arms and the legs, roll the clay into a thick coil and cut one end at an angle for easier placement or for easier attachment.
After everything is done, you can insert the head onto the body. But take the head out again when baking because the head is quite heavy and bake this with the body standing up. If the body couldn't stand up by itself, you can roll out a sheet of any color clay and place the body with the feet standing on that sheet of clay. Now bake this in the oven. Make sure to follow the baking instructions on the package. This is baked, as you can see the light blue clay that Mario is standing on. That was what I was talking about because I found that the body was folding over when I baked it. So I added a sheet of the light blue clay for Mario to stand on and also super glued the whole thing on a painted chipboard. As you can see the head moves side to side, that's because the wire with the head pin that connects the head to the body is not super glued. That's why it's still loose. So you can choose to super glue it or you can choose not to. And if you want some movement with the head, you can just leave it like that. I also used water-based polyurethane gloss to glaze some features on Mario. It is optional to do that. You can glaze the whole figurine if you want to or not glaze it at all. I hope this video is helpful and you can add this Mario to your figurine collections. Make sure to check out previous tutorial on the right. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram and Etsy for more work. If you have any ideas or requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe if you like what I do and to support this channel. Thank you so much for watching and keep crafting guys. Bye!